Let's see how to make a MirrorLink application with a developer certificate based on an existing Android application. Before you start, you'll need an Android application, a MirrorLink developer account, and a developer ID. The developer account gives you access to the Causeway and the ACMS portal. Causeway is a platform that allows secure collaboration for the Car Connectivity Consortium. Here you have access to documents, tools, and tutorials that will help you in your development and certification process. The Application Certification Management System provides application certificates and certificate status information to client devices. Its purpose is to respond dynamically to safety and security problems on deployed devices. So let's start. Follow the link in the description to create a developer account. Once you have your account, the next step is to get a developer ID from the ACMS portal. Here, I'll log in with my MerrorLink developer credentials and go to View Profile. This is where you can request a developer ID. You'll need to agree to developer agreement for it. Next, you have to add your device's international mobile equipment identity to your developer ID certificate. This will allow the device to verify the validity of the developer ID upon application launch. Go to View Developer Certificate. Select Request Change. Add your device's IMEI. For Samsung devices, you only need to add the last four digits of your IMEI and select Update Request. Then wait for the request to be approved. This should be done automatically if the number of devices is less than 100. I'll now go to my Android application to turn it into a MirrorLink aware application. First, I'll add intents to my application's Android manifest file. Terminate allows app termination from the head unit. Launch allows app launching from the head unit. I'll also add service permission for the common API. That's it for the manifest file. The next step is to make your app a mirror link test application. And for that, you need to build a self-signed certificate. I'm using the certificate generator provided by the mirror link for this, which you can find in the document section of the Causeway platform. I'll start by opening my application's APK. I'll add the version's code and the package name. And then I'll add in the application's XML. To generate the application's XML, I use the application certificate generator and the application's PICS, which you can find using the Causeway platform. I'll copy and paste it here, generate the application ID, and update the XML. I'll now add the developer ID I got from the ACMS earlier in the issuer's name. For a developer certificate, be sure to add developer as the entity names. Saving my certificate, it can take some time. I'll save it in the application's asset directory as selfassigned.ccc. Remember to regenerate the self-assigned certificate each time you modify your code and want to test your application with MirrorLink. Finally, I'll rebuild the project to complete the process. You can now start using Common API and test it in your application. So let's check it out. I can see the application inside the MirrorLink settings on the device. I'll connect my device to the test bench and we can launch the application.
Now I start Merlink inside the test bench. I can see the developer's application and start it. Now I can interact with it. Thanks.